they always said I'm wrong But what they doing today? I think they want me gone But I ain't going away They told me I was wrong But look at my ass da 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 Alright guys, what's going on? I'm Tim along with Justin for The Real Sports Talk. We said we're going to be doing less videos on YouTube because we're focusing on our podcast which will debut in a couple weeks and I'll have more on that over the next few days. But what we're also going to be doing still on YouTube is covering the big stories and a big story today is that Keith Oberman, Keith Oberman who began his career with ESPN, worked at Fox, um, more recently he's begun gone more than the political direction of commentary, but he was he was one of the original guys on Sports Center, I believe, and then he did a show on Fox as well. He still has connections and he has one of those MLB network blogs. It's called I believe Baseball Nerd. And today Justin, he reported some big news saying that there is a that the A or that the Yankees and the Marlins have both talked about a deal involving Alex Rodriguez, who we all know has struggled throughout this entire postseason, has really struggled the last since 2009, really, when they won the World Series. He really has not been the same between injuries, the fact that he's 37 years old, and in this deal, the Yankees would essentially take on all of A-Rod's deal. There's two scenarios. The first scenario, they take on all his deal, and it's undisclosed right now what they would get, but they would take on the rest of the deal, five years, $114 million. They'd keep that. They'd trade A-Rod and the Marlins and maybe get a few lower-level prospects that probably won't do anything. That's just speculation, though. The second scenario is that they would trade A-Rod to the Marlins, probably pay about four-fifths, four-and-a-half-fifths of a deal or of the deal that he's still owed, and then they'd pick up the rest of Heath Bell's deal, who signed there in the offseason last year at a horrendous first season. They'd pick up the rest of that deal. He would go to the Yankees, and they, they would have another guy there potentially in the mix for closer, and that'd probably mean then to Mariano Rivera with with the Yankees, but I mean that that's certainly down the road. In terms of just A Rod, Justin, there's pretty much two options. Either they trade him, and right now the team is the Marlins, but we haven't even gotten to the World Series yet, let alone the winter meetings and all the off season. So anything else could come up. Any other team could jump in here, and the fact that the Yankees are willing to pay pretty much all of A Rod's deal. I think for a team like the Marlins, you say, you know what, why not try and go get A-Rod? I agree. I personally, on a personal note, I think that this is A-Rod's final contract before he retires. This guy's going to be playing until, what, he's 42, 43 years old. He has five years left on the New York Yankees current contract with the team. And when you look at this, if this was to go down, I hope this is just not just, just rumors. I just want, I want this to go down. A-Rod has not been the same since. Tim, you pointed out since 2009 when they won the World Series where he just lit up that whole playoffs. The guy hit, what, how many home runs, Tim, did he hit in the, in the he playoffs? He had a really good playoffs that year. It was all, the rest of his career early on was always that he would perform great in the regular season, then couldn't do it in the playoffs, and in 2009 he got that off his, off his back, and since then he's been back to the he can't perform well in the playoffs. When you, yeah, when you look at A-Rod this year, he really just went down when he had sustained a broken hand. And that really, ever since that broken hand, he has not been the same Alex Rodriguez. The New York Yankees today are, are facing elimination right now against the Detroit Tigers. The team cannot do anything. And Alex Rodriguez going to the Marlins, I can see that being unlikely. You brought up none other than Heath Bell, who came to the Miami Marlins during the offseason last year, who this year did not do any, did not provide well. Tim, you brought up Marlon Rivera as well, and you thought that if they were bringing Heath Bell from Alex Rodriguez, from the deal with Alex Rodriguez, if that's going to go down. I don't think that's the end of Marlon Rivera. He's, if I go back, if I say this correctly, Marlon Rivera said that he's not going to go out like this. I see that Marlon Rivera is going to come back to the Yankees next season. You get back in that close role, get healthy, play next season. Soriano going back into being the setup man for him, possibly putting David Robertson as the middle reliever because the, the current pitchers for the New York Yankees have been really sketchy as of late. Epley has not been doing a whole lot. Derek Lowe is just there. 
And there's just a lot of stuff that's going wrong with this New York Yankees as of right now. A-Rod, he's more likely out. I, I have a gut feeling that he's going to be out. But when you look at this, who are they going to pick up to replace him? Eric Chavez, that guy, he's getting to the dinosaur age. I mean, he still somewhat has it. And then Derek Jeter. Now we're looking at how the New York the New York Yankees are playing without Derek Jeter in the lineup. Nothing is going their way. You got Eduardo Nunez, and I think his name is Jason Nix. You know what? That that they're not combined. They're not even up in Derek yeah, Jeter's but J- Justin, you just brought up a great point. You know what a lot of shortstops do at the end of their career? What's that? They move to third base, and maybe Derek Jeter would move to third base, and either Romero Pena, Jason Nix, or whether they could go find another shortstop on the market, whether it's free agency or at shortstop this offseason. I, I mean, over the last few years, a lot of people have wondered, and I don't want to get off track because I want to get my point in about A-Rod, but a lot of people have wondered what exactly is going to happen with Derek Jeter as he gets to this age because it, his range has declined. He's not a very good fielding shortstop anymore. So if they got A-Rod out, maybe not next year, but sometime over the next few seasons, they could have the oper- or the option of moving Derek Jeter to third base and kind of adding a few years onto his career and still keeping him out on the field, much like the Orioles did with Cal Ripken Jr. at the end of his career. That being said, about A-Rod, I get the feeling that it's just it's done for him in New York. I really do. He's had a, a solid up-and-down run, I would say. He's won a few MVPs. They wanted him out before 08, I believe it was. It was either 07 or 08. Then he won an MVP. Then it came out that he took steroids. Then he won the world, was part of the team that won the World Series in 2009. So it's been an up and down run. It seemed like after that, A Rod had gotten off his back. And now it's just back to almost hating A Rod again in New York. So. That, with the fact that he's been benched twice in the playoffs, and the fact that last night, when Phil Coke, a lefty, was on the mound, that they kept Raul Abanez at the plate instead of putting up A-Rod, one of the best right-handed hitters statistically that we've seen over the last 20 seasons. It, it, it really shows you that they just don't have trust in A-Rod. They don't have time for A-Rod anymore. And then we're hearing reports that during games, A-Rod is trying to get phone numbers of fans that he thinks are hot and then he's trying or you see him lipping hi mom when he's on the bench the the fact that it just doesn't seem like he's all that mad about this is, is the worst part and that's not treated well in New York I think he is done in New York I don't know if he goes to the Marlins it's awful early I I, I mean Brian Cashman has declined to comment on this or no my bad he's de- comment on us and he said that the reports are not true they, they may not be but the bottom line is I tend to think and I, I said this on Twitter long before these reports came out early this morning I said that it just feels like the end of A-Rod in New York no one's gonna want to take on that contract so the Yankees are gonna have to eat it but it feels like it's over maybe he goes to Miami Marlins maybe he goes somewhere else but it appears that Alex Rodriguez's days in New York might be numbered if the Yankees lose tonight just a little bit around the corner from fear. Ah. Beat.